The penultimate race of the festival then is the Grand Annual Handicap Chase. It's a Class 2 0 to 140 handicap. We've got a big, big field for this 21 mile, I think. And it's over two miles. And it's normally run lickety split. Let's take a look at the card. It's Cash's King at the top for David Hooley. Weary Willie, Kevin Meanhan, Maycox, Jody, and Fedora Fields for David Robertson. Time and Eternity, Leon Van Rensburg. Hewler Signet, Daniel French. By chance, David Hooley. Footing Con, Vinnie Gerard. Savage Garden and the Ranting Art for Graham Clutterbuck. Wade Bridge, Darren Thompson. Kazban Trip, Alex Cherry. Kafina De Niro and Ty Fighter for Paul Rhodes. Arlington Idrak for Vinnie Gerard. Samba, Alex Cherry. Lord Gale for Marcel Lederman. Wise and Traum for Stu Gray. So 18 of them then in this uh, called in and away. The rain stopped and they're making their way towards the first fence. It's a short run to the first and uh, they've all successfully negotiated it and Wiesen Traum for Stu Gray is going to set the pace and it's sniff as we expected and He's over the second, and there's something down there. Time and Eternity's gone. Oh, Time and Eternity falls, and that means that Leon Van Rensburg will not be the top trainer at the Cheltenham Festival this season, because there's only one more race after this, and he's two behind David Hooley. So Wiesentraum is in the lead, leading by five lengths as they get over the third. Which the remaining runners are all safely over. The Ranting Art is just showing second from by chance in third. Then comes Kazban Trip and Kafina De Niro. Fedora Fields is after that. Lord Gale went right through the top of it and almost went. Vinnie Gerard's got the back to Fudding Con and Arlington Idrak. But it's Wiesenthram who's leading by six lengths, racing uphill and swinging left handed then for a complete circuit of the track. And as predicted, they're not hanging about. Reason Thram six clear of Kazban Trip in second. Then Kafina De Niro and Tie Fighter and by chance and Fedora Fields and then the Ranting Art and Wade Bridge and Lord Gale as they get over the next. As a faller at the back there, Maycox Jody's gone. David Robertson took the Gold Cup earlier, but he's got one of his horses in this one out of it as they get over the water. Over the water they go, they're all safely over that, of course, with Wiesen Thram still clear. Kasban Trip second, Wade Bridge has now moved into third, then comes the Ranting Ant in fourth, and then Fedora Fields as they get over that ditch. They're all safely over that one with Savage Garden, the new back marker. But Wiesen Tram still the leader, but only by four or five now, getting over number eight. And there's another crashing fall of the back there, Weary Willie's gone. So Kevin Meanhands, Weary Willie is out of the race, and Wiesen Thram is in the lead from Fedora Fields in second. The Ranting Ant is third by chances for them. Wade Bridge and Samba and Kazban Trip and Tie Fighter as they get over this ditch. They're all safely over that one or two slow jumps at the back. Hewler Signet, Savage Garden, and Arlington Idrak have got a lot of work to do to get into this as they get over the next. And over that one they go, and it's still Reason Thraum in the lead from by chance in second. Then comes Fedora Fields and Tie Fighter, Gafina De Niro's after that. Samba and the Ranting Art trying to get into it. Wade Bridge and Cash is king. And next, Lord Gow's lost his place and he's dropping back. They're over the 11th. And they've only got three more to take there now, and it's still Weizen Thram in front from Kazban Trip in second. By chance is third. Then Kafina De Niro after that one. Tie Fighter and the Ranting Art on the outside as they race down towards the next fence. And this is the third from over. Over it they go, and it's still Weizen Thram in the lead from Kazban Trim for Dora Field. Hewler Signet's gone at the back, but Weizen Thram is running on again, racing down towards the final two. It's Weizen Thram in the lead from Fedora Fields in second. Then by chance, Lord Gale now coming to it on the inside. Tie Fighter on the outside. Wade Bridges after that, then Kafina De Niro and Kazban Trip, but it's Weizen Thram who's still clear, racing down towards the final two fences in there in the Grand Annual. And it's Weizen Thram in the lead for Stu Gray. Pops over it nicely. Good jump by by chance for David Hooley. Here comes Arlington Idrak on the outside for Vinnie Gerard. They're racing down towards the final fence and Wiesen Thram is getting tired. Over the final fence they go and now Arlington Idrak jumped into the lead. It's Arlington Idrak from nowhere. By chance he's trying to fight back. It's Arlington Idrak on the near side. By chance on the far side there's nothing between the two of them as they race towards the line. It's got to be on the nod as they flash past the post. That's got to be close. It's going to be very close. One thing we know for certain is David Hooley is the champion trainer at Cheltenham this season because even if he doesn't win this, Vinnie Gerrard can't catch him and by chance has at least got a share of it. Looks like it's one. And indeed it has by chance David Hooley. That's his, I think his seventh winner of the week or his sixth winner of the week. He's won the championship anyway, whatever it is. Arlington Idrak second for Vinnie Gerard. Weizen Tram for Stu Gray. Led all the way. Heartbreak for Stu Gray at the final fence, but hangs on for third. Tie fighter for Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Fudding Con for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. <laughs>